What's good guys, it is Monday the 17th of April and I just want to welcome you to today's episode of the Daily Market Analysis here at Elementary FX. For today we'll be looking at the USD franc on the 60 minute chart and we have a potential godly pattern setting up. For those of you who are trying to learn how to trade patterns or trying to learn how to identify patterns, maybe you could pause the video for a bit and try to identify the godly that's setting up. Um, if not, this would be the analysis behind this uh, potential godly pattern. We are looking at an X to A leg right here. Then we have our A to B, our B to C and our CD completion coming right around here. And if I were to clear the chart for you, we could uh, use this, uh, use the Fibonacci extension and retracement tools for our analysis. So like I said previously, the leg that we identified, which was the impulse leg, was this X to A. And as you know, the X to A will have uh, another, the next leg would be the A to B right here. And typically, the A to B leg would be a 618, X, a 618 retracement of this X to A leg. So if we were to take out our Fibonacci retracement, swing high to swing low. Let me just uh, clear this chart off. We have our swing high to swing low. As you can see, the 618 comes up very nicely and price respects that 618 level. So this would be a, a decent leg, uh, a valid leg. So we have uh, our X to A. A to B up here and the next leg we want to look at will be the next um, X to A, A to B and then the B to C leg. So if we were to, let me just, uh, if we were to take a uh, Fibonacci retracement, swing high, swing low, swing high, as you can see price comes up to right past, uh, no it's not there sorry, it's up here. Price uh, rejects that 618 level, comes pushes down into the 618 before rejecting it. So this would be a valid uh, B to C leg. So let me just draw that out for you. B to C right here. And the next leg we are looking for is a CD completion coming right around this zone right here. And the CD leg completion uh, will be the extension of this leg right here, the A to B leg. So if we were to take an extension, extension of swing low to swing high back down to swing low we can see that our 127 extension comes here and this would be our completion point or zone of completion so if I were to draw it out for you it would look something like this we have our X to A A to B B to C and C D coming right in here as you can see if I were to draw a line on that um on that area right there we can see that we have a rejection right here we have a nice resistance let me just switch off my magnet again for you we have very nice resistance here we have a support if we were to scroll left on the four hourly chart do we see any more structure in that area we have a, a lot of consolidation in here we have support Resistance, resistance, support and resistance. Uh, so, yep, right here is also another good zone. So, as you can see, this zone has been respected multiple times in the past. So, if price were to come up into that area right here, in the form of a Gatli, uh, we can say that resistance, uh, this place would likely be a very good zone for resistance where price is likely to reverse into the bearish side. So this uh, is the Gartley pattern on the USD front. We are about um, about 40 pips away. We are about 40 pips away from, from completion. So if price ever comes up into that area, into this zone right here, I would be looking to short the market. Let's say I have a sell limit right here. Stops will have to go above X right here. So stops will possibly go around here. And targets could possibly be back down in structure right here. So as you can see, we have a decent risk to reward ratio. However, if you want to be more conservative, you could have your stops above our structure highs right here, which is what I would recommend because um we have a we give we will be giving the the Gartley pattern more room more room to breathe and uh more more room to move around. So this has been the analysis of the Gartley pattern on the USD franc. Uh, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video guys.